Hello and guten Tag everyone. First of all, sorry for not uploading a video for a while now, but we are at this point of the semester where being a student is not fun anymore. <laughs> so, but I got something in the mail I ordered a while back ago. That's the packaging. Well, what is it? It's a solar sucker. And this sucker sucks because it does not suck. Yeah. <laughs> if you understand what I want to tell you. First of all, it came with the knob loose, but I don't care. But as you can see, if you cock this and release, yeah, it kind of works. But especially if you are in the situation that you want to disorder something, let's grab this RAM spot. Um, there I tried it and if you then, let's try this. Um, this is cold, in fact, but uh, let's have a look. No, it does not do it. Um, sometimes it won't move back here. And the way it moves back is pretty slow and does not really... Work. Yeah, no, yeah, no. Now it's stuck again. What you do? Yeah. <laughs> Take pliers. Uh, do this with the left hand here. And release it. And that's also and that's also one of the reasons why this thing sucks. Um, to comparison, this is not really an expensive solder sucker, but this one, bam. So so let's uh, crack this one open and have a look. Just pop this out. It's not that easy, so I made this off camera. And let's have a look. Yeah, it's. It sticks again. Basically, without uh, the rest of this assembly, not really impressive either. Yeah. And how does it work? Well, here is this spring. Gets uh, all greasy, tensioned, and then releases or not. Damn it. Okay, that's it for this one. Just to show the, you the difference in the mechanics on this one, which works fine. It's a bit different. The spring is on the downside. You push it down and then release it and it will be pushed up again. So this one works great and the other doesn't. This one is also aluminium and the other is plastic. My idea is to get rid of this one and combine those two. Well, I'll think about this and come back with the next part of this video. So here we are back again. I thought a bit about it and um, first I thought I'd make a new handle 3D printed or something but that's not that easy because this can get a bit hot. Um, also this is aluminium could also get hot so I would like to leave this plastic as is. And I think what I'll, I'm going to do is get rid of uh, this piece of plastic and the diameter seems to fit. So I will take out this piece with a Dremel or so and then I'll get rid of the tip of this one. Tip. Just unscrew all that. Then the tip is off. We screw that one to hold the spring in place. and reinsert and here we are with our sucker is it well let's so yeah and um, this one will go right here and then 
I will have to think about how I will press this against the the silicone tip here to make it airtight. Yeah, that should work. Next thing, mounting this, getting it airtight here, and we are basically done. So, one more little problem on our way. Um, you know, I took out the top, and um, here's only a zip tie at the moment to hold it in place. And now I noticed if I want to push this in, Sometimes it does not work and this this is uh, because it does not find the hole in the in the bottom before there was uh, this tip and this guided it in so we have two possibilities first reinsert this and cut it on the tip or leave it out and shorten this yeah this metal rod or trying to get it out by the looks of it you can just use it. get this out that easy so that's a good way so reinsert this yeah and that's basically almost the final thing what we will need is something that pushes this one against the bottom and I might make a bracket for here with a screw or something. We'll show you when I know. So later this day here we are back again. So as mentioned before here it is secured with a zip tie and uh, to press this down I made this bracket. I will link this in the description so you can download it or whatever. Um, basically, uh, this form, uh, this this shape will go on like here, yeah, and then this is um, maybe conceded slightly tapered to the inside. So if I add the screw here, it pushes downwards. So let me just install this. Yeah, this works kind of, I think. Yeah, it's a bit twisted because it wants to slip in this direction, but it holds against in this direction. So yeah, but aside from that, let's let's try this. Ah, okay, I see. Um, for the next iteration, I might take out a piece here so I can easier cock it or what you want to name it. So let's uh, close it here and have a look. Yeah, great. So that works, I think. So let's get a PCB and try it out. Okay, if you think it can't get worse, then it will. Um, I just wanted to try to turn it on and it did not get hot and so I unscrewed the back and what do you see? Yeah, this is not connected and if you have a closer look inside, let's focus one moment on the light. So uh, yeah, this is not even soldered, it's just, yeah, I mean, um, well, you can buy it and modify it, but honestly, don't buy that piece of crap. <laughs> Sorry. So um, I will solder this and then have another try. I soldered the wires on and secured them with a dab of hot glue and rebuilt it. 
and now let's test if this is any good. So this by the way is an old RAMS board which was one of the worst PCBs I ever got from China. Um, there are some things about this you could fix it but um, it would still not work. But um, let's try to desolder this MOSFET. So let's have a look. Okay. Great. Oh, this is so much better. It really works. <laughs> yeah. So let's inspect that. Focus. Yeah. Well, it's not really uh, not perfect, but way better than before, way better. Just for kicks, let's try one of these connectors. Also, it might sound counterintuitive, but um, if you want to desolder something, it's sometimes easier to put more solder on first to get it off easier. And here you see that's pretty clean. Yeah, I think <laughs> this was a successful mod of this cheap solder sucker. But still, if you can afford it, buy the right tool in the first place and not buy two tools and make one. But nice experience. So then, happy soldering and see ya! By the way, here's a video of my slider project. You might want to have a look at this if you're interested in electronics and 3D printing. While you're there, hit that like and subscribe button. Leave me a comment if you have a question. I'll be happy to answer them. See ya!